Hello budget friends, welcome to my life. How are you today? I hope that all is well with you and your loved ones. This is your budget friend Josie and if you are new here, I welcome you to this family and if you are a returning subscriber, I also welcome you and I'm so glad that you came back to support this channel. In this channel, I will do anything related to budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, and some DIYs for arts and crafts. So again, I have a friend who asked me about my wallet, this uh, treasury wallet, and this one has a slots, a divider for the categories, and she was asking me, what if I don't have that kind of wallet like yours? And I don't have also the envelopes for the cash category. What should I do? So I told her to use a cash divider. Instead of envelopes, you use a divider in your wallet and you still need to categorize your spending based on your um, allocation. And if you don't have an envelope, this is a perfect tool for you. You don't need to buy a fancy wallet all you have to do is use whatever wallet you have right now so since uh, I want to explain to her what is cash divider I have this wallet which I got as a Christmas gift um, like five or six years ago from a colleague of mine when I was still working in Saudi Arabia the color is already a little bit um, faded and I'm only using this just to put my collection of currency from different countries because this wallet is already um, destroyed and peeled off but now I'm using this as, as an example to put my um, cash divider just to show you because I know some of uh, my friends are using this kind of wallet so there's a space here where we can put the cash divider so now I'll show you how to do the cash divider. First, all we need to do is get a colored paper. So I have here a design paper. So you can uh, choose what color you like as a design. So maybe I'll choose uh, this one, the white one. as a cash divider then based on the size of your wallet all you have to do is to get a pencil a ruler uh, maybe a masking tape and a scissor this is our materials for today so i already measured the, my wallet and i am putting um, estimating it to be in 16 centimeter in length just have to mark the paper so we know where to cut and the width is seven centimeter so in this paper I will do two dividers so I will do two markings of seven centimeters some of the dividers that I will use 
so I have already here two patterns so I have a total of six cash divider patterns to be used in my old wallet so I printed out some of categories I will use for this cash divider so I put dine out, miscellaneous, shopping, grocery, allowance, and transportation. So it's up to you of whatever category you will put you will put in your wallet. So for me, this is the one I will use for the meantime. I will just uh, fast track so it will not take too long for you. So now, this is the finished product of what I did. Uh, it's not that fancy, but it's usable. So, for example, if I will get my wallet and I'll put all the categories here. So, making sure that they're all fit. So, I have time out transportation allowance shopping grocery and miscellaneous so since I have this uh, collection of currency from different kind of I mean different countries I'm using this as an example to put dividers and cash in my wallet so for example this Saudi Rials money I still keep it as a remembrance while I was working in Saudi Arabia so I have the currency so for example I use this as my dine out money and for transportation I also have currency from Singapore when I went to Singapore to visit my sister and I also have Malaysian currency I'll put it in my allowance and I also have a United Arab Emirates currency for my shopping for my grocery I have this different kinds of dollars like Australian dollars Hong Kong dollars, Canadian dollar, and United States of America, one dollar. So this is all my currency collection. And the last one, my miscellaneous, I have this different currencies from different kinds of different uh, countries. So I'll put it here. So like, I hope you get the idea. Like, if I go dine out, I'll get the money from here. If I go transportation, I'll get the money from here. If I need for my allowance, I'll get the money from here. The shopping here, groceries here, and miscellaneous here. So that's how you do it, guys. The divider. So it's not gonna be bulky in your wallet and it's handy so no need for you to use a cash envelope we'll just use the dividers to divide your category and still use the method of tracking and allocating the money depends on your category so if you want a little bit fancy I already use um, a different kind of paper 
and put like this like I still print the paper and then cut it um, a little bit bigger this is 16 by 18 uh, 16 centimeter by 8 centimeter length and I put a tracker with it and I'm planning to laminate this one and I will use this for example in my wallet here so you can see the difference like you can see the tab is a bit uh, out so you can see the category allowance grocery and transportation so it's still the same so I'll just um, laminate this one so it's gonna be a little bit uh, sturdy and I will get back to you So here it is guys, the finished version of the um, cash divider. So I already laminated this one and it's a bit sturdy and it's more fancy to um, look compared to the previous one that I made. So now we put this inside in my wallet and so it will look like this. So the category are out. And you can easily see each category in the divider so like it's for example the same you put money here for the allowance and for the transportation like that or for the grocery so it's like that so this is how our finished product of the cash divider so which one do you like this kind of cash divider which is more um, sturdy because it is laminated okay. this kind of divider so it's really up to you guys whichever you want to choose or you want to do as long as it's helpful to you so there you go guys i hope that you learned something from me today and if you have any questions or suggestions just leave a comment down below and I will surely reply to you and um, get back to you as soon as possible. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more updates on my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I truly appreciate all the love and support. And always remember that if you are saving, you are succeeding. Again, this is your budget friend Josie and God bless everyone and keep safe always. Bye-bye.